Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be the first in a series that I am calling the Shop My Stash Challenge. I have a lot of eyeshadow palettes. A lot. I also don't give them enough equal love. So I decided to change that. Here is how the challenge works. I wrote down each brand of eyeshadow that I currently own and then I wrote down each palette from that brand that I own. I assigned the brand and each palette a number. And as you can see here, this is my little sheet here. I have Lorac as number five, and then I have nine palettes from Lorac. I then used a random number generator, which I will link down below for you guys in case you want to do this challenge as well. And I would first pick the number of the brand and then if that brand had multiple palettes then I would choose a number for that particular palette. So let's go back to Lorac for instance. So let's say the number generator picked five for Lorac. Okay cool. Then let's say it picked number three. So I would know that I would use the Pro One. That is how the palette gets picked. I also challenged myself to use shades within the palette that I don't normally gravitate to just so that I could kind of get an overall feel for the palette deciding whether I liked it or not. This gave me a good opportunity to kind of weed out some of the palettes that I was on the fence about that were just taking up space in my collection. First up is the Revolution times Emily the Wants palette. I honestly have a love-hate relationship with this palette. Most of the shades are good, but there's a couple of shades, especially the ones named after her daughters, Eve Rose and Belle Violet, just don't perform very well, at least for me. With that being said, the mattes in this palette are very good. When this palette was chosen, I realized that I had not really used the green shades in this palette and I wanted to incorporate those into the look. And I was actually very, very pleased at the way this look came out. This palette is the Elf Summer Breeze palette. It used to be called the Mad for Mattes Volume 2, but it's the same palette. They just call it the Summer Breeze palette. I had seen a lot of hype, especially around this particular palette on YouTube, and so I finally broke down and got it. However, I only used this palette like once or twice, and I didn't really remember loving it that much. That being said, I feel like the look did come together pretty nicely, even though I did have to put a little bit more work and effort into creating the look. So this palette here, all the the shades are matte so I did use my highlighter that I used that day for my lid shade. All in all though, not too terrible of a palette. The next palette is the Makeup Geek times Manny MUA collaboration. It is no secret, no secret that Makeup Geek is by far one of my favorite eyeshadow brands, if not my favorite eyeshadow brand. This is the palette here. It is absolutely stunning. They used to sell some of these shades separately. I'm not sure since they did a rebrand if that is still the case, but I have always liked this palette. The only shade I have to say is this one here. Mars was a little disappointing at first because I was expecting it to be kind of a bright red, but it's more of a kind of berry pink shade. The other shade was this Insomnia shade right down here. This shade intimidated me because it was a duochrome and I wasn't really sure how to make it work or if I could make it work. So I tended to stay away from that shade. However, all the other shades in there, absolutely, completely, totally amazing. When I chose this palette, I knew that I had to incorporate Insomnia into it because I was so intimidated by it and I really didn't give it much use. It actually was my favorite look of the week and it is the look that I'm currently wearing. I love how Insomnia makes my lower lash line look almost ethereal. And even though I don't really follow Manny anymore, I still love this palette. This palette is the Balm's Nude Tude Palette. James actually got this for me for Christmas a long time ago. 
when this palette kind of first came out, it was kind of all the rage. And Hot Look actually had it on their site for like half off. So James got it for me for a Christmas present. And it was a debacle. <laughs> it was a major debacle. I did two videos on the whole situation. I will link them down below if you're even interested in that. But this is the palette here. Now, I just never really gelled with this palette just for the simple fact that there was really no mid-tone shade in here all of the these shades are kind of super dark and not like a good transition shade and then all these lighter shades just completely underperform even though i feel like the look that i created with this palette wasn't completely terrible it still was my least favorite look for the week. The last palette for the week is from the brand Profusion, and it is their CNS palette. Profusion is actually a drugstore brand that I discovered through Emily Noel, and they stunned me. This is actually the second palette I have of theirs. The mattes are amazing. The shimmers mm, can use a little work, but the mattes are hands down amazing. So for this look, I kind of just wanted to do kind of a sunrisey kind of look and I feel like I accomplished that. All in all, it's a really, really good palette. So that is all of the palettes for the Shop My Stash Challenge for week one. And the only one that I'm going to be letting go of is the Balm's Nude Tude palette. I still just feel like I didn't gel with that palette. So it is going to be leaving my collection. If you liked any of the looks from the Shop My Stash Challenge Week 1, I will have a blog post linked down below in the description bar, which will have a rundown on how I created each look. Thank you guys for watching. I love you guys, and I will see you soon. Bye!